Hey, it was stacked against me, wasn't it? All the time, stacked against me. Nervous breakdown, on patrol, had to get through, another ambush, and then in my psychosis, and I mean, I was totally psychotic. Kept thinking I could see in people's minds what they were thinking. Two kids shoot us, and well, we left them just dead on arrival. Blew them apart, rifle grenades. I was, but really, psychotic, interdimensional limbo. People spoke to me and I couldn't speak to them. Only look at them and bewildered, cry. Back to the ship and stabilize, couldn't stop crying. Back at the base camp after getting off at the helicopter, landing ships, hey, I couldn't stop crying. I was beat down and lost. Got to the medical aid station and evacuated. Didn't let me pack my bags. Sat on a cot in an empty hospital ward. Someone said to me, hey, your fighting's over. And I was being medically evacuated in an airplane the next day. Oakland Navy Hospital. Yeah, doctor wanted to see my drawings. Put me in a locked psychiatric ward after he saw what I was drawing. Everybody was getting electroshock at that time. <laughs> I say to myself, couldn't talk, didn't talk. Just, hey, slumped around and kept crying. My job was to clean the recreation room, just like I'd cleaned my parents' bakery when I was a kid growing up in Illinois. I was drugged and I kept talking to everybody, anybody who wanted to survive. I kept trying to find out how to survive and how to live. I wanted to live. One foot in front of the other. And I was there learning all the time. How am I going to get through this?